Aunt Sponge's dress, right? Yes. And these are going to be leaves? These bits are leaves, and so they will be in olive green when I'm done. But right now I'm priming them, so it'll end up drying clear. Cool. But if we don't prime it, it just drinks up the pigment, and then we end up wasting a lot of paint. Ah. So that's kind of, this whole shop smells like Mod Podge right now, <laughs> because we're priming, priming, priming. Yeah, so you're putting together the piece that the flowers will sew onto? Yeah, but this, I just sewed the back and then I have the front, but it needs to be fixed because I have some pinching and stuff going on. So. Okay, cool. Why are you hand stitching now? Um, because at this point I already edged it on the serger, so now it's just old school type hem. As okay. long as it doesn't go through here, it puckers. Okay, here's the little legs for the centipede. They're like metally and hard, and they're going to get covered with other material. And over here are the ones for the spider, and the ladybug will be like this as well. So they're like metal thin straw-like pieces that go underneath the, the cover. Boot! Boot! How long do they take to paint? Um, well, I don't know. I didn't paint them, so I'm not sure. Ah. But they were spray painted, so I imagine not too long. Oh, that's good. They took a while to prime, Yeah, I can say that. Did you prime them? I did. Wow. I really Looking good. Look at all the legs. It's like body parts everywhere. Look at other kinds of legs that we're gonna stick legs on top of. Legs on, legs on, legs on legs. After we glue the legs on, it'll look something like this. Without the tape, of course. And then when we add a beautiful, beautiful boo. Nice. And only 42 of those. Only 42 legs, only yeah. seven boots has these little things that almost kind of look like horns and I was desperate for something that had a smooth top and I went to the Halloween store and they had a Viking helmet so I just pulled you know the sides off the Viking helmet and they're now going to become that I have to now connect you know around the back yeah to get that part of it and still have to put the antenna on it but it was just like you're walking around the store going oh my god what can I use yeah that's perfect Oh, that's pretty much it. The lining, this, and the collar. This is the like sort of breastplate of the grasshopper, and it's really thick. Did, did you paint it? I did. Awesome. Oh wow. Wow. So many pieces to this thing. Very cool. There's a spider costume coming together. You're in your fashion fabric now. It's pretty. These are the shorts. Wow. So you have the top and bottom together. Cool. What are the pieces going to be on top? Um, so the pieces are going to be like the spider's spots. If you look at the drawing, um, they're like, I don't know, they're to show like her, like they go on her waist and they're like little birthmarks that the spider would have. I'm making the patterns to go around these um, fiberglass fishing rod legs um, for the spider. And kind of nice. They're in like little pairs. So this is leg number three and seven. And yeah. So we so have to make the pattern, cut the pattern, stuff, or prime paint and stuff the pattern, and then put it on the legs. Awesome. Um, okay, so the dress is sewn together. Um, it's done. This is the official dress. Um, what we're doing right now is we have to prime the fashion.
construction fabric because if you just try and paint it with just regular acrylic paint, it soaks through and therefore you have to keep painting it over and over and over again. So the primer makes it to where you can just do one layer of paint and it's good to go. And so then once we get the primer done, we'll paint it, then we'll get the legs on it, the ladybug legs, then we get the wings and she's done. Awesome. Mm -hmm. These are going to be the ladybug wings and we wanted something that would go like this. Mm -hmm. I'm like, what have I got that would be that shape? And I remembered my white sands discs. Oh. My nephews will be so excited that I've used the discs. <laughs> and so we've shaped the ladybug wings over this. And now we we're using the once again the um, the fiberglass fishing rods to form this shape so that it eventually it looks like a ladybug back that's you know mounted. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> bug body parts all over the place. It's like a morbid collection of pieces in here. Fantastical. This is earthwormage? What are you putting? Are they like pool noodles or something? What's it made out of? I'm all out of it. You know, I don't know what it's called. That's a foam. It's like little versions of pool noodles. Yeah. <laughs> cool. It's almost complete. All I need to do is wait for the glue to dry. And the earthworm body is coming along over there. We can see it coming together. Where we go down into one leg to make it earthwormy. It's like a skinny pool noodle. The skinny pool noodle turned into a big earthworm costume.